Hey guys, I wanted to make a video about the hair clip trend. The whole 90s piling on hair clips thing has come back into fashion and I couldn't be more excited. I was a kid at the time and I remember going all out with these hair clips. And they have come back now in a little bit more of a grown up way but they're still super playful and fun. And honestly sometimes even bordering on tacky but I feel like that is just part of the fun, you know. This is one that you can really go all out with. So today I wanted to show you a few ways you can rock the hair clip trend. That's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna walk you through a couple of options and let's get started straight away. So the first look of today is inspired by the Versace catwalk looks where they wear these nice flashy big hair clips. So in order to do that, you're going to separate your hair into a center parting. If you want, you can use a rat tail comb to help you with that. But you just wanna make a really nice clean line. So then I'm going to pull my hair back and I'm going to comb it over so that it's really smooth. The thing that makes this hairstyle is that it's super sleek and smooth. So I'm going to make sure to really comb my hair back nicely. And then I'm going to hold it down and I'm going to take a hair clip. So here I have one that has a row of pearls. And I'm going to slide that in right above my ear. I'm going to make sure to scoop up all that hair. And I'm going to slide it in kind of diagonally so that it is almost pointing up, just slightly tilted back. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, so make sure my hair is combed back smoothly. And then I'm gonna take a second clip. This one has little hearts on it. I'm gonna do the same thing, so just slide it in right above my ear. And then you wanna make sure they're symmetrical, so I'm gonna need my mirror for that. <laughs> Now if you have bangs, it's up to you to decide what you want to do with them. I have decided to leave mine out. I think it looks a little bit better on me that way. Obviously if you don't have bangs, it's going to be all pulled to the side really nicely. So this is pretty much the look. And what I really love about this trend is that you can mix and match these clips to your heart's desire. Nothing is off limits pretty much. For the second style, I'm going to keep my sleekly combed hair and my center parting, but I am just going to pull it forward a little bit more and split my bangs as well. If you don't have bangs, then of course you're already there. For this next style, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these clips. They are kind of like big double bobby pins almost. So what I'm going to do with this is slide it into my hair right here on the side of my face, like right on the side of my forehead. And it's going to help hold back my bangs. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Slide in this pin. You want to make sure they're nice and symmetrical. So then I'm going to take a second set of these pins and I'm going to slide that in just below the first set. And I'm going to make sure the angles line up. Now a lot of how good this will look on you depends on your face shape. So you might want to play around with where you place these a little bit. On some people it looks great when you put them high up here. On some people it looks better when you have them a little bit lower down. So don't be afraid to just, you know, play around with it, see what looks best on you. What I am going to do though with these is just lift them up a little bit. Because they are pretty flat against my head right now and I want to create a little bit more room there so that my hair doesn't look as flat but this is the second style i think this is really pretty a really cute way to get your hair out of your face and a really nice way to wear the hair clip trend for the next style i'm gonna put my hair in a side parting so i'm gonna take my little comb again and just part my hair on one side this is honestly a really really quick and simple one but i'm just going to comb my hair back and then I'm going to take a massive hair clip. I have this one right here, which I think is really, really cute. And I'm going to pop that in right in the back here. And it's going to hold my hair back right there. And I think this looks absolutely amazing on hair that has a little bit of texture or curl. It's just a really, really cute hairstyle to wear. And super simple to do. It takes a few seconds. Now, of course, we use the smaller side of the hair this time, but you can do the same thing on the other side where you have more hair. So all you need to do is take a little piece of hair from the front, pull it back, and then take a hair clip and stick it in right there. And now, of course, this clip can be as flashy or as subtle as you like. For example, this is pretty subtle, but if I were to switch it out for the pearl one that I used earlier, it's a whole different look. And looks a little something like this. Although I have to say this hairstyle is giving me flashbacks to scene queen days. I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> but maybe 
that's just me. So another thing you can do is layer these and wear several at a time. So one way you can do that is to take one side of your hair and you can do this on a center parting, side parting, whatever looks best on you. And when I'm layering, I like to start with the bottom one because that one's going to set the hairstyle. So I'm just going to pull my hair back and then start right in front of my ear. Put this one down there. And I'm going to go up one level. And then I'm going to add one more. Get a little three-tier clip action going on. So when you're layering like this, I like to make sure that the angles line up and that the distances between the clips are approximately the same. But of course, it's all up to you. You can choose to make them not line up on purpose. I personally do feel like this looks the nicest since it is busy enough as it is with the three different styles. This is pretty much how I would go about layering them. I personally think this looks really, really cute. Another thing you can do, which I personally think is pretty cute, is to not really have the clips serve any purpose, but just put them in your hair as an accessory. For example, I could just take my little loopy clip again, open it up, and just kind of slide it into the side of my hair. And just have it sitting there. It doesn't serve any purpose, it's just a cute little decoration. And that is another way that you could use the hair clip trend. Something that I have actually been doing a lot is just a very simple half up to where you just take the front of your hair, pull it back, give these sections a little twist and then take one of these big ones, big hair clips and just slide it in to hold this together and that gives you a really cute, really quick half up to. And I feel like this is one of the more wearable ways to wear these big hair clips and maybe one that people will be more comfortable with. So far all the styles that I've shown you have been with the hair down but of course you can combine these with any type of updo really. And you guys know how much I love my low buns so I'm gonna just demonstrate this with a very quick low bun. Just gonna pull all of my hair into a low ponytail. I'm just gonna create a little quick messy bun here. And this is really cute to also just accessorize with a bunch of hair clips. So again, you can make them symmetrical or asymmetrical. I chose to just combine two on one side and have nothing on the other side. Of course, there are endless variations on everything I showed you and there are still so many more things that you can do that I haven't shown you at all. So I mostly just want to say play around with these. This is a really fun trend that you can use to experiment and find different ways that you like to wear it. So I hope you found my suggestions helpful today. If you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for loads more beauty and lifestyle content. If you'd like to support me through Patreon or my merch store, there'll be links in the description box below. Thank you so much for your support. There is another video here that I think you might also enjoy, you can go watch next. Thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!